What is going on everyone? In this video, I am going to give you some really, really cool tips and tricks on reading market dynamics and structure. This has helped me significantly in the market and it's going to help you to time your entries and make sure you are on the right side of the market more times than not. And I've got some really cool tips and tricks on something I've been incorporating in my training that's been making a lot of my trades more profitable and I'm sure you guys will get a lot of value out of this as well. I'm not gonna be talking too much about entries in here, maybe I will towards the end. So you're just gonna have to sit and watch it. I'm gonna try to keep it as quick as possible. And without me going on too much, let's get into it. So what you guys are looking at is a four hour chart on US 30. Now, before we get into any kind of live data uh, on the charts, so candlesticks, I wanna give you an illustration of the foundations of market structure and the dynamics of how price moves. So I have done a recent video on this, but this one's going to be focusing on two key significant areas I want you guys to focus on so we can time our entries and make sure we are getting in where, you know, there's going to be a lot of buying activity or selling activity so we don't get trapped and we are more or less most of the time on the right side of the market. The foundations of an uptrend. So if we are trying to identify an uptrend, price has to be making higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, and higher highs, okay? That is the core foundation of an uptrend. Now, what we're gonna be kind of discussing in this video is two significant areas I want you to focus on. We're not gonna be focusing on this zone down here, this zone down here. We're gonna be focusing on the most recent data, most recent price action, and what I mean by that is we're gonna be focusing on the previous higher high, and the previous higher low. These are gonna be our two key significant levels in the market. Now, how we take trades and how we find buying opportunities in this case is there are so many ways to do it. There are so many strategies, entry criteria, techniques, how we can identify trading opportunities around these two key significant levels. The first kind of dynamics and the first kind of thing I wanna show you guys to give you insight into these patterns is there is either one of three scenarios that may happen. Price may come back down to our first key significant area, okay? It might find very strong support, lots of wick rejections, you may see engulfing candles, you may see a double bottom type of scenario and that then we can get involved for the next extension to the upside since this market is in an uptrend. So it doesn't make sense to anticipate or predict predict reversals. We wanna try and be on the right side of the market at all times, okay? This is the first scenario that may happen. The second scenario that may happen is price may come down to this level. It may break with strong momentum. It may pull back up. And this is where a lot of traders get trapped. They see this zone broken. They see price coming back up, retesting it as broken support, now resistance, and they wait for confirmation, bearish signals, and they sell it. The uptrend is not violated or invalidated until the previous lower high is taken out, meaning we see a massive momentum candle to the downside, breaking previous structure. What usually happens in this case, price will come back down to this level. Most times, not all the time, it will find strong support. You'll see strong wick rejections to the downside. You may see strong engulfing candles, strong bullish momentum, or once again, a double bottom type scenario before that you can get involved on the next extension to the upside since we are in a bullish trend. We are not anticipating reversals. And the third thing that could happen is we could see price simply come all the way down, disregard this zone completely, <clears throat> and find very, very strong support at this level. Okay? The only, only way a trend is invalidated is if, if price breaks this level. Then if we see something like this, we can then start to anticipate a reversal because the market is telling us so. We have broken a key level. That's the, the whole highlight over here. 
if we have broken a key level of structure to the downside in an overall uptrend, we have since come back up, tested that support as resistance. We wait for confirmation, such as a double top, strong wick rejections or whatever, and that's when we can catch the next leg to the downside. And then we quickly show you a bearish example. It's the same thing, just inverse, but I want to give you guys some illustrations so you understand the concepts. In a downtrend, price should be making lower lows, lower highs on the pullback, breaking structure, lower lows, lower highs, and lower lows. Okay, <clears throat> same thing, just inversed. We are not looking at this structure, we are not looking at this structure, okay? We are looking at the most previous current data, meaning previous, lower low, previous, lower high, okay? If price, once again, it can do one of those three scenarios, it can come back up, it can respect this structure very well, so this is now resistance, <clears throat> have a double top scenario, whatever you want to look at for your entries that signifies strong bearish momentum, strong bearish signals in the market since we are in a downtrend and then we can catch the next leg to the downside. Or we could have that other scenario where price breaks that level, comes back, tests it. This is a massive trap for a lot of traders. It makes sense theoretically, but you got to remember, understanding this one key concept, two key levels in a downtrend the previous lower low and the previous lower high. Until the previous lower high is violated, we are not looking, we are not anticipating bullish, we are not anticipating buys. Price may test this level, come back up here, and we'll see something like this before price moves down, stopping a lot of people out, collecting the sell orders, the stop losses, and then moving price down with a lot of momentum. And then of course, the third, scenario. <clears throat> price disregards that level, comes up, finds very, very significant resistance. Lots of uh, selling orders up here, and then we can get involved on to the next leg down. So we don't want to anticipate buying opportunities unless the market is telling us, unless we see strong breaks above these two key levels, and then a nice confirmation, it's like so. Okay. Now that we have that out of the way, let's get into a few live examples. Now, this is gonna be somewhat in hindsight and everything, but I wanna give you guys some insight into my new perspective of how I've been learning about market structure to help me be on the right side of the market. If you guys understand the way I trade, I like to focus on the one minute time frame, and that is where I do all my analysis. My trading, has been performing very poorly, mainly because I'm getting caught in a lot of chop or on the wrong side of the market because I'm not looking at the high time frames. So this is where I want to bring your attention, learn from mistakes, and I'm going to give you some insight and a lot of knowledge right now and value into overall market dynamics and how we can save ourselves a lot of money and focus on those high probability trades. Okay, so in front of you, if I was to ask you, what direction is this um, chart? Are you bullish or are you bearish? If you said bullish, you would be correct. But if we are focusing on current data, which we should be, it is bearish. Now, I'm going to get to that in a minute. Let's focus on the principles we just talked about and incorporate them into this live chart on US 30 on the four hour. If I use the replay tool, and let's go back over to here. <clears throat> Focusing on the most recent data, previous recent data, meaning the previous higher high, which is our first key level, and our previous lower low, which is our second key level. In an uptrend, we would want to see the previous higher high violated taken out to continue the overall uptrend. And what you guys can see here, this candle here broke above the most recent higher high, meaning the bullish trend is intact and we are still looking for buying opportunities, okay? We're not selling this, we're not anticipating sales, we are reacting to what price is telling us. 
<clears throat> so let's continue on. Obviously, we know what's going to happen. You can see price starts to come back down, kind of respecting that first level. But what happens? It comes a little bit deeper before finding strong momentum, a strong level of uh, support in this case. All right. Now, with zones, we have to be very systematic in how we apply this knowledge on the charts. If you question yourself, if you're like, hey, is this a higher high? Hey, is this a pullback? You are going to suffer a lot of psychological errors that's going to impact your trading performance. And that is something we want to avoid. I'm not going to talk about rules in this video to an extent, but you can see I'm using wicks, okay, to draw my zones. I usually, I'm not normally on the four hour time frame. I'm usually drawing my wicks on the whole body, um, okay, of the previous level. Play around with this and create your own rules, something you can identify clearly, something that makes sense to you, and that's what you do consistently that's going to bring you your success, not what happens based on, you know, because the, the market is so random, okay? But you got to identify a pattern and then develop consistent rules and consistently apply them. Anyway, off on a little tangent there. But <clears throat> you can see how the market has pulled back in to this level, which is our previous high. Found strong support, okay? It found strong support in that level. Now, let's jump down. Let me just take this back one candle before we had that massive buy um, bullish candle. If we jump down to the 15 minute time frame, if I was to show someone this chart and I said, hey, is this bullish or bearish? They would say it is bearish and they would be correct because price is moving down. But because they only have one part of the equation and they don't understand what the higher time frames are doing. And this is where a lot of traders can get trapped, including me. I'm guilty of doing this for trying to make my trading as simple as possible. And I'm missing out on the bigger picture and I'm missing out on a lot of evidence. Coming back to the four hour time frame, market is clearly bullish, making higher highs, respecting structure. Okay. So if your trading time frame is the 15 minute and you saw this, and let's say we use the same principles, guys. So Looking in this downtrend here on the 15 minute, using our previous lower high and our previous lower low, okay? And price came back up to this level or one of these levels, you can see how they both got taken out, okay? This is a, a good thing because you had no opportunity to go short. So obviously now that we know the higher time frames are bullish, we can now wait for price to come back down to a key support level on the 15 minute, okay? So let's see what happens here. Perfect example right here, guys. What's happened is, if I go back to the four hour, <clears throat> you can see it's already created that higher high, okay? Market is creating newer structure highs. Let's come back to the 15 minute time frame and let's illustrate this on how we can jump into a trend or a trade using the exact same principles I taught you earlier with the higher highs, and using the most previous levels of um, the previous zones that we're going to be using for our key levels. Okay. Bear with me, guys. I know I'm going pretty fast here. What are we at? 13 minutes. We're doing good. We're doing good. All right. Previous high, previous low. Once again, I'm just using the wicks to kind of demonstrate this. Let's see what happens. Prices just keep pushing higher and higher. And get a little bit faster here. Let's see what happens. You gotta remember, price doesn't have to come back to these zones, guys. We're gonna miss trades. We're gonna miss opportunity. Okay. We the I the the biggest thing in trading is patience and not fomoing into any entries. So looking at this price chart right now, it is very much sideways. Okay. It's kind of ranging, and it's not coming back to any key levels. Now, you guys may be seeing up here where we've created this high, okay? We are testing it multiple times. Let me show you guys. So we had one, two, three, and now four, okay? 
we are not anticipating a reversal. We're not gonna start placing sell orders and getting short, okay? If you're a counter trend trader and you ba trade based on structure, maybe this makes sense. But for a majority of traders, we wanna stick to the right side of the market, okay? My phone's ringing, give me a second. Sorry about that guys, I just have to take a quick phone call. We are not, so basically we're not anticipating a reversal, okay guys? We are, just because there is so much resistance, yeah, okay. It makes sense that, hey, this level is being respected. Let's start looking for shorts and sell the market. No, coming back to the four hour time frame, guys, what's happening? The bigger picture, the other part of the puzzle, the putting it all together, the equation is we are bullish. Let's stick to the right side of the market. We don't want to be anticipating a reversal when the market is so bullish on the four hour time frame. You remember this is the 15 minute time frame. There can be a lot of noise. There are trends within trends. Let's stick to the overall bigger picture. So without trying to, you know, you could have scalped a little few, but that's a topic for another video. Let's see what happens. Let me get rid of these little things. We have a breakout. Price has created a new high above all of this. So this is pretty significant, guys. You gotta remember this. It's significant because this is 20 hours, 20 hours and 45 minutes worth of sideways price action. We finally broke out of a key level, okay? Let's see what happens. Look at that, <clears throat> okay? So now we are creating higher highs. What does that mean? These two key significant levels, which was our previous, previous higher high and higher low, are now gone, okay? We wanna pay attention to current recent data. Let's see what happens. You can see how price has pulled back in. So where was our previous higher high, guys? It's already marked right here, previous higher high. What just happened? We had a very, very nice rejection pin to the downside with the overall direction in the four hour time frame telling us we should be looking for buying opportunities let's let's mark this one up guys all right let's say we waited for this 50 minute to close it had a very very strong rejection to the downside we put our stop loss below the structure level here okay and let's just yeah there we go we're aiming for two to one Look at that, beautiful. This is how we can identify very, very strong trading opportunities. This is what's gonna require patience, guys. We're just not gonna place orders based on half of the equation. You wanna build confluences, confirmations in the market. Coming back to the four hour time frame. look what we have. Price created this massive extension. Once again, guys, we can get rid of this level down here, we can keep this level. We'll just move it over, clean it up a little bit. Previous higher high, actually now this would be our previous high high since this 4H is making a new higher high. Okay, our trade is somewhere in that. We are basically trading inside this four hour candle. <clears throat> Let's continue on with this example real quickly, guys. Let's see what happens, okay? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go back to the four hour time frame. I wanna give you guys some perspective. Like I said, how we cleaned up this level in here, all right? This is our four hour key significant level, previous lower, higher low, sorry, previous higher high. Let's see what happens. And let, let's see what happens in the 15 minute, all right? Once again, we are not anticipating reversals. We're not trying to short this market, all right? so. Let's grab this. <clears throat> Move this up here. Because guess what? Market put in a new high and I put in a high low. Okay, one there and there. Two key significant levels. Let me just make sure my four hour one's intact yet. Okay, and let me actually put this one back in here because I just removed it. <clears throat> All right. All right, so let's focus on these two right here. Let's see what happens. Look at that. 
We had a massive bearish candle breaking below both key significant levels. Now, just because a level is broken like this, we need to wait for extra confirmations. Now, this will tell me, um, look at that rejection to the bottom. I wouldn't be anticipating to go long at this point because we did break previous structure highs. So I would tread carefully, guys. Let's see what happens. Price is coming back up. So what may happen now? Remember I told you guys we have two uh, free scenarios that could happen. Let me paint you the picture again. This is an uptrend where we have, okay. What's happened now, guys, is previous higher high, previous higher low. What we've seen is that second scenario play out where price breaks strong to the downside and it now may use either one or two as resistance before moving back down. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> let's see what happens all right so let me give you guys a bit of view here rejection you can see analyzing price and seeing what may happen double top let's see what happens here now i'm not anticipating reversals guys okay this is trying to identify timing the market. I'm still bullish on the four hour. Let me jump to the four hour time frame. This is still bullish for me, okay? But 15 minute market structure is telling me tread carefully. Let's see what happens. Let me clean up this zone a little bit, guys, because now this is our lower high, okay? And this is our lower low. These are my two significant levels now, guys, because we broke below here, creating a lower low, and this is a lower high. Let's see what happens. Look at that. Market is selling off. So because the four hours in an uptrend, but the 15 minute has broken structure to the downside, tread carefully, timing the market, putting everything all these confluences and confirmations in our favor. We are not just buying and selling based on, you know, one or two things. We are starting to read the market, read the characteristics, understand the dynamics of what is happening in front of us. Okay. So now that that has happened, we have a break of our lower low. We then have our high high. We have our two key significant levels. Okay. Let's see what happens. All right, where has price come down to? This level in here is a four hour previous higher high. Okay, I hope you guys are sticking with me. What are we at? We're at 22 minutes. Wow, it's gonna be a bit of a long one. It's come down to our previous higher high. Now, once again, let's jump back to the 15 minute and let's try and read the story. Let's see if we can get a pin bar market dynamics to shift back in our favor for buying opportunities, okay? Let's see what happens here. Market is definitely not stalling out, guys. One 15-minute bullish candle is uh, not a sign to go long. Remember that. We want to see strong reactions to these levels. So we can anticipate. We can get rid of this. We can get rid of this. We can either look, once again, guys, Understanding your pullbacks and having a consistent rules-based approach and systematic uh, approach to identifying how you define a pullback and an extension. Because some people may look at this and be like, hey, is that a pullback? It gets subjective, guys. And if you have to guess that, how are you going to draw your zones? Okay? How are you going to draw a zone if you don't understand its characteristics? I am simply looking at this previous level here because that was a very, very strong level in the market. Okay, you can see we broke below it, pin bar, testing above it, what happens next? We're just reading it left to right. Look at this. Rejection wicks, rejection wicks. Strong bearish momentum to the downside. Okay, we now have another two clear uh, lower low and we have a clear higher high. 
I am going to hide this level right here, guys. This is our four hour previous higher high, and I'm going to keep the four hour previous lower low. All right, reason I'm keeping the four hour recent lower low is because price is currently trading at that level. Look what we have here. We have indecision, massive momentum candle, okay? This candle, guys, candlestick analysis, we're not just, we are adding so many confluences now. You got higher time frames, you've got higher time frame key significant areas, you've got the higher time frame trend. You now have the 15 minute overall trend, 15 minute uh, significant areas, which I'm, I'll draw right now. So we got one, which is your most previous higher, uh, lower, higher low, sorry, or lower high, I'm getting so confused. And then once again, you got your previous zone in here. Okay, price has broken both of those zones. Let's see what happens. And the reason I draw this up as well, guys, it is the biggest bar. When was the last time we saw a bar, a candle, bearish candle that big? And then what happened next was, bam, indecision. It just snapped and hit a brick wall, which means the buyers, it is a strong amount of buying orders here. Is this a significant area? Yes, okay. The reason I say that, guys, is because it is, it is the four hour most recent lower low. Key significant area. Coming to the 15 minute, what do we have? We have price coming back into that level, okay? And it is showing a signs of loss of momentum, indecision. Let's see what happens next. We have a bullish bar. Buyers are stepping in, buyers are taking control. Now, this is where a lot of traders will get confused. What's happening here? Depending how aggressive or conservative you are as a trader, we can take an entry here, okay? We can put the stops at the low, I'll keep it like that, and we can aim for, let's just say, a three to one. Let's see what happens. Now the reason a lot of traders will get confused here is because we have the most previous lower low, and the most previous higher high. Price could get tangled up in these areas, finding resistance, finding some type of orders in the market that could conflict with your trade. Let's see what happens. Loss of momentum, candles are getting smaller, lots of selling pressure in this area. So tread carefully, guys. And there it is, that's a massive bar. I would suggest most traders wait for this to happen before taking your orders. You may put half your position in down here, you may add to it after. That is a topic for a whole other video, guys. There are so many ways we can get involved in the market. But this whole video, I'm trying to demonstrate to you guys areas, significant key levels in the market where we can find these trading opportunities, okay? Let's see what happens now. What do we have, guys? Previous lower low, lower high. We now have our previous lower low, which is obviously a four hour level as well, which is very significant. Let's see if we can get price to come back and test this level. All right, now once again, don't put too much emphasis and focus on how you draw these zones. I say I always use the candle high, the candle low from the previous zone, okay? That's how I do it because it gathers a lot more price action. You guys have a method that you can refine your zones, go for it. You know what I mean? If you can refine your kill zone and get those very precise entries, do that. Uh, test the market, see what you can see. For me, I'm looking for types of rejections. I'm looking at the candlestick analysis. I'm looking at wicks. I'm looking for buyers to step back into the market, okay? We have a bullish candle here. It looks a bit indecisive. Let's see what happens, okay? Another bullish candle. Let's see what happens next. I'm still waiting, okay, guys? Now, because we have this scenario painting in front of us, we can then trail down to a lower time frame. Let's check out the five minute. <clears throat> what is happening here, guys? Remember when I said we have the scenarios? I painted the picture of, this is an uptrend now, the four hours in the uptrend, so I'm gonna use the uptrend as an example. When we have this example, guys, previous significant zones, previous higher high, 
previous lower low. I hope you guys are sticking with me here. This is some great stuff. The three scenarios, we're coming back down to this level, right? It's our first, it's our higher high. And what's happening? We're having a double top, okay? So let's see if we can find a way to get involved on the next extension up. Since we are bullish, guys, we, we are not anticipating reversals. We're not looking for sells. Let's go to the next bar. Let's see what happens. I'm waiting for a breakout. <laughs> waiting for a breakout. Let's see what happens. I'm not doing anything yet. I'm waiting for a break of this level, guys. All right. So coming back to the 15 minute, what's happening? It may be coming back to our second key significant level. All right. So we just gotta have patience and wait for price to come to these levels. So once again, guys, let me fix up this level. That's the four hour one. Let me grab this one. It's this whole bar in here. See how price came back to this level? All right, so see this bullish momentum? Price came back there. We had that bullish engulfing candle. Structure below the uh, stop loss below the structure lows. So you're not only getting your 15 minute structure lows, you are also putting your stop loss below the four hour structure lows as well. Aim for three to one. So you risk 100 to make 300. Let's check the four hour, four hour candle out guys. <clears throat> What's happening? Massive rejection, price is going sideways. We then get price come back, test that four hour zone, that 15 minute zone. Looking left, okay. Most previous zone guys, I'm not looking at all this noise in the middle. I'm not looking at all the noise that's happening, all the trends. I'm focusing on the most previous lower low, most previous higher high. I can actually get rid of this level here. Okay. Let's see what happens. Okay. Market's creating higher highs on the 15 minute. Let's come back down to that level. Let's come back down to that level again. Definitely not pain free. Could have been a break even trade. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> Let's see if it stops us out. I'm going to say it's going to stop us out <clears throat> and then bam. Okay. I'm not, this is a great example because I don't want to show you guys that everything, it's not always going to work out the way you want it to. It's never going to work out 100%. So you guys can see we got stopped out. Now, what are we at? 32 minutes. I'm sorry guys, it's a long one, but please, this is a lot of value in this video. I'm gonna jump back to the four hour time frame. Guys, what happened? <clears throat> what happened to our puzzle? The four hour, we found some type of resistance, market found a top, but more importantly, Let's pay attention to our previous key levels, guys. Previous higher high. Previous lower low. Rejected it. Tested it. Broke it. We now have a break below structure. What does that mean? Let me get rid of this. Let me get rid of this. Let me jump back to the 15 minute. If price now tests this level, which is also the most previous 15 minute lower low and the most uh, previous lower high. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we can get a pullback up to this level guys to test it. You can see that this candle just wicked inside this level. It is a very tight level, strong bearish momentum. You know what? Market dynamics have shifted guys. So what are we gonna do? We can now look for selling opportunities because we have the four hour time frame. We have a break of a major four hour support level. The 15 minute is bearish, 15 minutes creating lower lows. We have a pullback back into our key significant level, strong rejection candle, bearish candle, put the stop loss just above the highs. And let's aim for, once again, just go for one to three. And let's see what happens. 
we would have gotten out of that trade 1.5R. But once again, that was an aggressive entry. What happens after that, guys? <clears throat> what happens after that? This is just, I'm painting the picture for you guys. We create, let me hide this. So this is our four hour low. All right, that just got taken out, but let's focus on the 15 minute now. We have our previous higher high. We have our previous lower low, okay, in here. Let's just focus on the previous higher high. Let me take this back to give you guys another example. Price comes straight up to it. Okay, we respect the highs. These highs don't actually, this candle doesn't break above this wick over here. We respected those highs. What happened next? Strong bearish rejection off that level. So I know we kind of know what's gonna happen next. Put our stop above the highs once again. Let's kind of aim for a structure-based uh, target. Instead of extended targets, let's aim for just in here. So let's go for two to one. And we know that's gonna hit, get hit. Price comes back up, test the level, and what happens? It kind of follows through with that bearish momentum now, guys. So the dynamics have shifted bearish. Coming back to the full hour, you guys can see this, and now we're at current data. I know this has been quite a long video, guys, but I hope you got some great value out of that. Using the market principles, the ideas of higher highs, higher lows in an uptrend, using those two key significant areas, the previous higher high in an uptrend and the previous higher low in an uptrend as well, waiting for price to retrace to that level. Now, and in a bearish trend, it's the inverse. How we find the entries, we can use the same time frame. We can use lower time frames to get tighter entries and tighter stop losses, giving us better risk to reward. But on the flip side, you may get stopped out because of the noise and volatility on the lower time frames and having a tighter stop loss. Um, and how we can define this, the same principles apply to every market, every instrument. You just have to, like I was saying previously, guys, we have to find and develop rules on how we identify the pullbacks and the extensions so we know what we are looking at in the market. We're not, there's no gray areas. We're not staring at it while looking at taking a trade and doing analysis and just pondering over it and thinking, hey, is this a pullback? Is this extension? If you have no idea, you're gonna uh, incur a lot of psychological um, mistakes because you're, you're guessing, you're not confident, and that's a topic for a whole nother video, guys. I hope you guys got some value out of this video. I will be making a video about rules, how we can define these, these patterns being systematic around it and eliminate any gray areas. Once again, if you did get value, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and please hit that bell icon to get notified when I release my new content, especially the video related to this one with the rules. Until then guys, I hope you guys stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.